Hello one and all, my name is Ryan Bruce, my friends call me Fluff, and today we're going to be checking out the Devil's Triad, the Jeff Loomis signature pedal. So there's been a lot of pedals released lately, and the cool thing about them is they're all really, really good. I feel like for some reason, the preamp and drive pedals of recent years have just gotten really, really good, and they're no longer the fizzy mess that they used to be, you know, say in the 90s when I was, you know, first starting out playing guitar and messing with these things. Pedals, uh, the drive pedals are that have been come out lately have totally changed my perception of what a drive pedal can do. And the new Jeff Loomis Signature Devil's Triad from All Pedal um, is no exception. And we're gonna check this out today because I have not checked this out and I'm going to try this out for the first time in real time in front of you guys. Now, before we go any further, this is not a sponsored video. Uh, Jeff is an actual good friend of mine in real life and he texted me and he said, hey, can I send you a pedal? And I said, I would love to check it out. Sure, Jeff. Uh, Jeff is one of the sweetest guys in the entire planet, one of my favorite humans. And I am really curious to check this pedal out because he has a great grasp on tone as well as being one of the finest guitar players to ever walk the earth. Jeff, love you. So yeah, we're gonna plug this in. We're gonna check this out. Now, before I fire up the amplifier, uh, there are basically four different things going on on the Devil's Triad. We have a drive section, which is basically an overdrive. We have a boost section, and then we have an effects section, which has a reverb and delay, which you can control individually. And there are multiple ins and multiple outs. So depending on how you wanna use this, you can use this pedals for cable method. You can use this as a preamp, which is how I will be using this today. And you can also just put this in front of a clean amp, like a Fender Twin in a backline situation, something like that. So. Let's, uh, I'm gonna get the second camera out and I'm going to fire up my amplifier, get my guitar and uh, I don't know, let, let's check this out. All right, so I have my Music Man, uh, my Ernie Ball Music Man James Valentine guitar with Fishman Fluence Kill Switch Engage pickups. I am using the Devil's Triad pedal as a preamp. I can use this in a couple of different ways, but this is how I usually use and, uh, and run all of the pedals that I test here on the channel. So I'm just gonna keep with the consistency. This is going into the effects return of my Soldano SLO 100 because I think the loop sounds great and the power section is very even and typical and I am using the Devil's Triad as a preamp. So currently with everything off, you have just the, the raw guitar tone that's been amplified through the power sections. Not gonna sound great. So if I turn on, by turning on the drive, this is going to be our our preamp. So I guess that means the boost will be boosting, like we'll be like goosing the front end of the amp and then the effects will be into the front as well, not the effects loop, okay? Uh, let's see how this sounds. What? That sounds great. Uh, I'm gonna turn the gain down a little bit. Let's see how clean we can get it. Obviously, if you're buying this pedal, you're probably not looking for pristine clean tones. However, I thought I would just try it. Um, wow, this sounds really good. It's not, uh, it doesn't have that low mid hump, that muddy bump that a lot of these preamp pedals have. That's very, very nice. Okay, so now, now that we got our bass tone, which is awesome, 
Uh, let's see what the boost does. I'm not sure how, how the effect of the boost is gonna have with this already being so gained out, but uh, let's check it out. So the boost is adding a lot of top end, which I find pretty nice. You can easily go overboard with it. However, in this uh, setup, having this right about nine o'clock is perfect for me because without it, uh, the drive is, uh, is a little cloudy, which is fine. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, so now let's check out the reverb slash delay. I'm guessing that this whole section is just on if you turn the effects on. I think the level is just how much you want of that effect. So I think... So this is a, this is delay and this is a plate reverb. Uh, I'm gonna let's check this out. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it first without the boost. That's a really nice plate reverb. I really like that a lot. Let's make this super long. That's pretty cool. Uh, okay, I'm gonna turn this down and let's just do delay. Oh, it's like an analog delay. I'm gonna turn the feedback up. I'm gonna make it go like collapse into itself. I love getting the Radiohead style sounds out of that. That's so cool. I didn't know it was analog. That is really, really cool. I assumed it was going to be like a, uh, you know, like a fully digital, like a boss, you know, DD5 or something like that. But that is so cool. I'm going to turn the feedback back down. Let's, let's reel it in here. Let's reel it in. Now let's add the boost. <laughs> this is awesome. Jeff, nicely done. Now, obviously, if I was using this into the front of a clean amp, the drive would add gain and saturation and then I would further boost that with the boost section. In this use case scenario, I cannot do that because I'm using the pedal, the Devil's Triad itself, as a preamp, okay? So those of you in the comments, don't ask me how I have this set up. I have this set up as a preamp. Awesome pedal, wow. Okay, Devil's Triad. So what do I think? 
Honestly, this is super, super cool and actually useful in a lot of different scenarios. I find the quality of the reverb and delay very, very good. Pleasantly surprised with the fact that this was not some stale sounding digital delay, but like a real nice kind of analogy, dirty delay. Uh, the boost is good. And also using the, the overdrive as a preamp sounds lovely. What a great pedal. This will cost you $325, which is not an insignificant amount of money for a pedal. However, I mean, this could potentially, depending on your pedal board setup, this could replace four different pedals on your setup. So take that for what it's worth. Very, very cool pedal, very fun, sounds great. I'll link down below in the description. And uh, yeah, congratulations, Jeff and All Pedal for releasing a very, very cool pedal. I am very impressed with this pedal. And uh, yeah, you've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.